The Nanrik Mega Ultimate Instructional Video A detailed view on how to fit and adhere the Nanrik Mega Ultimate. Start by trimming the foot to your specifications based off of x-rays and mechanical needs for the horse. Once the foot is trimmed, be sure to thoroughly clean the hoof wall of any debris with a firm brush and isopropyl alcohol. This will ensure the best glue adhesion to the foot. Check the fit of the Mega Ultimate to ensure it is not too large or small. When sliding the foot into the shoe, it helps to start from one side and twist the shoe while applying forward pressure to get a snug fit. Make sure the shoe is straight and the toe is pushed all the way to the front. At this time, you can check the fitting of your frog pressure insert. You should be able to fit the desired insert into the gap between the shoe and frog. Be sure to select the right insert to avoid having too much or too little frog pressure. Once you have checked the fitting of the shoe and frog insert, remove the shoe and begin adding your felt insert. The felt insert will go on top of the frog insert and will act as a moisture barrier while the shoe is applied. The felt insert also protects the foot from any defects in the ground surface of the shoe and does not allow the glue to get under the foot in the gluing process. Place one provided screw through the felt insert into the frog insert, securing them both to the cuff. Putting the screw through the felt will prevent the felt from moving when reapplying the shoe. Next, you can start applying your ground side mechanical attachments. You can start with just the bubble and shoot lateral radiographs to make sure the mechanical needs have been met. If the bubble alone is insufficient, you can add a 3.5 or 7 degree wedge between the cuff and bubble to achieve the required mechanics. Once you have determined the required mechanics, you can screw on all of your required attachments. You can now reapply the completed shoe with the felt, frog insert and mechanical attachments. If you are applying the Mega Ultimate in cold weather, you can heat the cuff with a heat gun on low heat to soften the cuff for more flexibility. During the final fitting, Dr. Redden usually gets the shoe on and drops the toe to the ground. This will set the toe to the front of the shoe. Double check the cuff for large gaps and flares. First secure the cuff to the foot using the number 8 pan head half-inch screws. Be sure not to put the screw in too tight. You want to leave space for the glue to move through the cuff for better adhesion. Putting these screws in the foot is safe and will not harm the horse. They only pass one to two threads into the hoof wall and will help for the best adhesion of the shoe to the foot. Starting at the second glue port from the back, you can now begin applying the adhesive. Keeping your thumb over the first gap in the cuff, Pump in the adhesive until it starts making its way toward the back of the cuff. Move the tip to the glue port in the back and continue adding the adhesive. Be sure not to pump in too much of the adhesive. While the adhesive is still fluid, wipe off any excess. After the lateral side has been filled with adhesive, you can move to the front of the cuff and work toward the medial side. Continuing to add the adhesive into the glue ports and wiping off any excess. Once both shoes have been applied, you can begin taking your final radiographs. The first view is a low lateral radiograph. This view will show you the mechanics of the shoe in reference to the ground. The next view will be a higher lateral view. To ensure you are getting the most precise view, Ensure that the handle of your generator is perpendicular to the ground and the generator is level when taking this view. The higher lateral view will show the internal structures of the foot. Due to the height of this shoe, you will not have a full view of the coffin bone when taking the low lateral view. These two views will give the full picture of the ground surface and internal mechanics, and will tell you if you have achieved the necessary mechanical adjustments for treatment. These are the mechanical goals for applying the Nanrik Mega Ultimate.
For more information on the Nanrik Mega Ultimate, go to nanrik.com slash laminitis. The Mega Ultimate can be purchased as individual parts, in a complete kit, or as a basic kit. For information on derotation and tenotomies, please fill out the contact us form at nanrik.com contact.